Hello, 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 and welcome back to Racing Lagoon. This is episode two, picking off right where we left off. So, uh, see what kind of weird Japanese situations we can get ourselves into this time. Maybe we'll get stuck on the save screen again. Who knows? Alright, um, we're on Mato Magic Street. On Moku Street. Crossgrave Street. The street with the English name. Lagoon Street, the other halfway translated street, there's a parking place, um, the handling here is not too good, but this isn't really meant to be the racing part of the game, so it's not, although it is kind of a bitch to turn around. Um, uh, there's more cars coming. More cars. What are we racing now? Another one? That we're racing... The CBC Lev. The Civic. It's a Civic. That we're actually more powerful. Should be pretty straightforward. You can also race trucks on this game, like full-size industrial trucks, so... Then you can race the Civic next door. Heck knows what else. Ferrari. There's a Ferrari in this game. Right now. Um... Um, so here we go. And I just lost. Well, yeah, I lost. Can I restart? No, I cannot. Japanese game. So I just lose the part I just won, didn't I? I lost my ultra filter. Oh no. This kinda reminds me of LA street racing. Oh, can we race the bus? I guess not. That'd be funny. Come on. We can stick a bus motor in the Toyota. No, the bus is just a scenery detail thing. Can we race a speedy yellow car? No. So look at all the detail they put into this city map for a PlayStation 1 game. It's pretty dang impressive. So, this is like Pokemon except you're waiting for other cars to come challenge you so you can race them and get parts basically. Instead of like, experience or evolutions. I don't know, maybe your car evolves 
Maybe this Toyota will evolve into a Ferrari or something. Like that. That'd be kind of funny. I'd play that game. That'd be awesome. <laughs> Or no, it evolves into a Prius or something weird like that. Then everybody complains because it's got like middle form syndrome or whatever. Anyway, uh, we're racing another Starlight. Yeah, we beat this the first time. We beat this. Maybe Starlight has some. Maybe we can get our filter back. As you can see, races can both be point-to-point -point and circuit types. Oh, that was stupid. I'm gonna lose all my good parts, and I'm gonna lose my car. Yeah, Also vaguely reminds me of Metabots because you bet parts and stuff to win. Except you want your parts you win are completely random there. Or you kinda have to pay for them or something. <clears throat> Get another club sport. Get their engine. Ecology tires. Is that a steering wheel? Flying saucer wheels. I can get their red color. We'll steal their paint. That makes sense. Um. If I get another ECU, does it stack on the ECU I have? I don't know. Go with the paint. Now. But they can't put the red paint on it. There we go. You can't send out the car is red. I didn't know you can change colors or not. It's cool. Um Is it red on the overworld now? Yeah, it is. I guess this could be considered the overworld. There's a truck. I think you can race buses too, but I don't know how. Maybe you can't. They gotta come up on you. They, you can't just go to them. That might be how it works. Reminds me of the driving in SimCity 4, except this is somehow a lot better. SimCity 4's driving mechanics are never really fleshed out that much. Basically, if you have a city that's 
of a considerable size, there's just nothing but traffic and it kind of sucks. What's this? There's a bunch of random cars there. Um, oh, another race. It's a Civic again? It's come from a pink. No, it's a lean S1. Ooh, that's not. Of somehow just slightly less power to weight ratio. It's either gonna be awesome or really bad. Because we're gonna get our butts kicked, but, uh. Yeah, Celica SS1 is usually considered to be a slightly better car than an 86 Corolla, just saying. Reminds me of my first few times playing Tokyo Extreme Racer where I just gave you blood kick because you don't have a car that's worth it, man. Because there's so many cars in that game, and some of them are really cheap, and you just want to kind of test them out. Oh my gosh, is there a second lap? I guess we haven't lost this yet so far. No, there's not. Oh. That wasn't fair race, man. Didn't lose anything in that race, so still got my paint. <clears throat> It's the most important thing, it can't lose the paint. <laughs> Alright, here, here's another one, maybe. Yeah, what's this guy got? Please don't be another Celica. Nope, it's a Civic. A somewhat better tuned Civic than the last one. Okay, we might have a chance. We got a better power to wait, but he's got more power. You can see how this game could get really addicting after a while. Because you're just trying to race people and get more parts. It's like a better version of LA Street Racer, which was one of those games where if they just put a little more effort into it, it could have been awesome, but they didn't, so it kind of sucks. If you don't know what that is, it's like a very similar to Street Legal Racing Redline, but you can't mod it. So basically, they took the one thing Street Legal Redline had going for it, and thus it never gain any popularity whatsoever and you just race people for parts and stuff. The tuning's been dumbed down a lot. The car models are nice. The car models are nice. The driving physics are surprisingly pretty good for a cheap game. And I'm gonna lose this too. Did I win a race for once? Well, that's not gonna help me. Can't freaking. 
How do I go in reverse? my club sport. So I'm in the negatives now. I'm worse off than when I started. It's because I'm not really acquainted with driving yet. Is there a way I can practice? I don't know. It'd be nice if I could. Um, and so far, the only thing I've gotten is red paint. That's productive. I've lost everything else. You know, next race are probably going to take that too. I'm going to have nothing. I'll have a completely stock Toyota Corolla. Uh, another Celica, really? I think when the battles occur, it depends the track and the race, you know. In English, the uh, road that I'm on when the battle occurs is the track that I'm going to race on. Was my red paint. I don't know what those XP things are good for. I mean, it hasn't really made my car any faster. But, I keep my paint still. That's cool. If somebody wants red paint. Or the game just feels sorry for you, so it won't take your last part. Which, you know, in my case, is because I'm completely useless, but still. Overhead Highway Street. Oh, and trains. Cool trains. What is our time at? I might start recording a bunch of episodes of this today because this is kind of an interesting game. I know I don't understand half of it, but just the battling and winning part stuff is kind of exciting in itself. Okay, we have uh, another Starlet. It has way better power to weight ratio. But less power. Really short track. Maybe I'll just do all my battles on this track because it's the shortest. There. 
finally we won one. Got 1100 rewards points for that. Now, does he have any parts that I can use? Magic Mash. <laughs> what? MT Gearbox? Does it mean it's manual? Town Walker. Suspension? Gentle Road Tires. Um. Get the exhaust. <clears throat> and then I'll give me another horsepower. It's a little better than stock mail by one horsepower. Wonder what the magic mash is. You just you just put mashed potatoes on the engine and it runs better. <laughs> Trademark. No. Another bus. Just gonna keep circling this block until I get in there because that was an easy track. And if my statement is correct that wherever you're driving is where you're gonna be racing if you get a challenge, then I should be able to get challenges on this short track that I actually wanna race on. In theory, at least. All these streets have English names, except for. Thanks for at 133 English, or is that just kind of a universal name for a road? And we have a Sylvia Q. She's like a mid range Sylvia, as far as Sylvias are concerned. Oh, circle is confirmed, but gas is still X. And there goes the exhaust I just wanted. It's like, what's the point of leveling up if I can't win any parts that are worth anything? Yep, I just lost the exhaust. Great. Back to square one. Uh. An immediate another battle with another Sylvia. No. Uh, overpowered Volkswagen Beetle. Like it has like four times its original horsepower. I mean, yeah, it's still not much. It's 169, but it's like four times what it originally. Down more. They didn't have that much horse, but they only get like 40 horsepower to begin with, so. Yeah.
fan base is a lose. Is that one curve at the end that keeps screwing me up? I lost my wheels that I didn't know I had. Ah, uh, this is going to be bad. Another immediate battle. Wagon 660. Okay, I'm against a key man with the high power to wait somehow. But it's still a key man. Maybe I can win this? And we're on the same track again. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep grinding this track until I get it down perfectly. Is it? Come on, I can win this one at least, maybe. You know, against a key van that's barely even a car. supposed to drift around corners, but I don't know what the handbrake is. Because, uh, square just seems to be the regular brake. I got another level up. We get the key car engine. Upgraded brakes. Get his body. I'm about to take the exhaust. Yeah, get the exhaust. So maybe it was a mistake to get that exhaust because it's not good. Wheel base. So a navigation system. Sticker, I got the arrow DT, I got the answers. Okay, so uh, I think that's good for now. Am I gonna get another immediate challenge? Yeah, Corolla 11 versus a Truino. Truino. That's awesome. Let's see how this goes. Slightly different track. Yeah, 
cards as he has. He's off 75, that's better than what I had. Mine saw some rings. GP2000 tires. Under panel. Just like improve aerodynamics or something. He's got decent tires. I have to go with the tires because I assume those are sport tires. For the uninitiated, tires are one of the most important things you can upgrade, believe it or not. They affect handling, acceleration, traction, grip. Far more important than a lot of people get the credit. Despite being a consumable part. Something that wears out a lot. Usually that aspect isn't prevalent in most games, though. Unless it's like a Gran Turismo or something. Again, you don't have to pay to replace those tires if you spare out. We're at 32 minutes, okay, so uh, we're going to end this episode here, and then we're going to go right into episode 3. Um, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, or subscribe, or all three if you want. Um, look out for the next episode. I'm running two series now, Rumble Racing and uh, Racing Lagoon, which is this game right here. Anyway, thanks for watching, and see you next time on Strike 9 716.